Hi. Good evening, guys. Um, so, I am making this video tonight. It's Friday night. Yay. Long work break. Um, because you may have noticed that I have a fundraiser going on on my social media page. And the fundraiser is for a very dear friend of mine, uh, mine, mine, uh, who I met in my rheumatoid arthritis support group. Some of you know that I have rheumatoid arthritis. Can't talk. I really have only had a sip of wine. I don't understand. But anyway, um, anyway, and that it's been a really long battle, like fighting fat phobia in the doctor's office to get a diagnosis, um, to figure out what was wrong with me. And they come to find out it's rheumatoid arthritis, and I'm on weekly injections for it. And I found this amazing support group. I also made this really incredible friend during this support group, and she's one of those people that would literally, like, if it was negative 50 degrees out, give you the shirt off her back, and then be like, do you need my socks and my shoes too? And just thinks of everybody else before herself. Long story short, she had a really, really difficult, horrible week about two weeks ago. Um, her family uh, ended up having a house fire. It was a chimney fire, and it spread to the insulation in her attic, and the firefighters had to come and tear out part of the wall and basically destroy the chimney. And um, they were amazing through the whole thing. Her family, her and her husband and her daughter, uh, just really strong, got through the whole thing. They were, nobody was hurt, so they were happy, and it was great. Unfortunately, uh, later on in that same day, there was a horrible incident in the neighborhood that I will put um, a link down there, both underneath this video and um, on YouTube where it's going to be posted, and on my blog uh, with the details from the paper of this horrific event that happened. I'll also put it on my Facebook page so you can read and see the news reports on it where um, their direct neighbor um, was the victim of a really unfortunate family situation and uh, a stabbing where he almost lost his life. And he managed to make it to my friend's house that had had the fire that morning and her, her son, um, who's in his 20s, her teenage daughter and her husband basically saved this man's life. They managed to um, give life-stabilizing medical care to him while... Um, you know, on the phone with 911 and making sure the house was safe and secure and he was taken to intensive care and he's recovering and he's going to live. And part of the reason that he's alive today is because this family who went through this horrible trauma of their own of a house fire in the morning um, came together and saved his life. And so it was just a very long, very hard day for them and they were amazing. And because she would never ever ask for anything for herself, I started a fundraiser. Um, so what I'm asking for is uh, $1,300, which is enough to pay their deductible for their fire insurance so that they can get their chimney working again. And it's been really cold temperatures across the U.S., as most of you know, especially here. We're in Maryland, in southern Maryland. It's been very cold. And um, so that they could get their house back and heated and warm again without the added burden and stress and worry of this fire deductible. Um, so it's been incredible so far, the outpouring of support from people. I'm so excited. Um, we're at $1,085, which is like 72% of our goal. And I really, really want us to make goal. Um, so there's like a $215 left. So this is what I'm offering. I'm not sure anybody wants it, but I thought it couldn't hurt to offer. I get lots and lots of messages on my social media from people who just want to have a conversation with me, whether they want to talk to me about all the research I've been doing in um, fat shaming and fat phobia, or whether they want to talk to me about ways to improve body image and how you feel in everyday life, or what it's like living with a chronic illness and what that's like. And also some people still, even a decade later, want to talk to me about that show, The Biggest Loser, that I was on and hear all the salacious behind the scenes details. And other people send me messages asking about what's going to be in my fictional reimagining of being on Weight Loss Reality TV book that I have coming out later this year. So what I'm offering is if one person donates the last $215 to this fundraiser that I'll post down there in the links and on my blog and on my social media page again. If one person makes that last donation, I will do an hour-long Skype with them 
where we can have a glass of wine, a glass of cocoa, glass of water, whatever you want, sit and I'll answer any question you have. Anything. Anything you want to know about the show, anything you want to know about research, anything. If you want me to Google Pokemon and talk about Pokemon with you for an hour, I'll do that too. Um, oh, and other questions I get too. Um, I happen to be in a marriage where I have a husband and I have a boyfriend and I have a son. And so if you're interested in knowing about that and what that's like, I'll happily answer any question you have. So I'm going to offer that deal to anyone willing to give the last $215 for a fundraiser or... If, if that's not floating your boat, um, I'll offer it to whoever is the very last person to donate before we hit goal. So say you have $5 this payday that you can part with. If you donate $5 and then someone else donates $5 or you wait and you go back and forth and somebody donates a certain amount and keep an eye on it, whoever is the last person to donate, whatever the amount, I will do a hour-long Skype with you too, to talk about anything you want. You dictate the conversation and go. So hopefully, even if you don't want to talk to me, that's just fine too. I'm hoping you've got a dollar, five dollars, anything you can to spare to help us meet goal. Like I said, we're so close. We're at 72%. So um, take a look at the fundraiser, read up on it. I'll post um, a link from the local paper too to inform you on the situation that happened here if you're interested. And please, please, do me a favor and donate. And, and if you're in a position where you can't donate, I totally get that too. Been there. Know what that's like. Share the link for me so that maybe somebody else can. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a nice night.